Hey guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Y'all, today we're going to do something that one of you suggested and it's going to save you guys big bucks. Stay tuned. So welcome everyone to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to join me today and a big thank you to everyone who has bought me a cup of coffee as well as my monthly members group. You guys are going so far above and beyond and you are really helping me to keep this channel running and I truly, truly appreciate it. Today's idea is a fabulous idea that was sent in by one of you. Now I get a lot of ideas. Those ideas that I'm going to turn into a tutorial really are the ideas that will appeal to the masses. I get a lot of requests asking me to make something specific to the person sending the request. And that's not something that I'm going to do on the channel because it would not have a mass appeal. But this one certainly does because it falls right in line with the budget crafting that we like to do on this channel. And y'all know we don't just do budget crafting. We do posh budget crafting. So here is the suggestion or request that I received from It's Me and it involves taking an existing box and turning that into a box. Now at first I thought hmm that's gonna be quite the little challenge but as I was sitting down to figure it out I realized that it's not hard at all for us to do this. So thank you It's Me for suggesting this because I think that you guys are going to love it. So I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up some boxes and in this particular set you get three boxes top and bottom, which means that you have six separate pieces, which means that you have six separate boxes. So I am going to show you a very quick way of taking one of these lids or bottoms and turning it into a box. And so here are some of the boxes that I've made. Aren't they cute? Each one of these was made from either a box top or the box bottom, however you want to look at that piece. And it only took one to make each one of these. So it cost me 51 cents total to make these boxes, but just the plain white boxes. So I then went back and I did just a light dressing by adding some paper to the top. And then on this one, I added a nice little embellishment, but these aren't things that you have to do. The purpose of this video is going to be to show you how to make the box and then how you choose to dress it or whether you choose to dress it is completely up to you. So y'all know what time it is, it's time to make it. All right y'all, so here is a closer look at the boxes themselves. So I'm going to open this so that you can see on the inside, we just have that standard box that you can buy from the store, but we have taken it and modified it. So to make this size box, which is nine and a half by six and a quarter by one and seven eighths, I use these gift boxes from the Dollar Tree and you get three sets in the pack. And quite honestly, I just love how these turned out. I used this size gift box from the Dollar Tree. And again, you get three pairs in a pack, which means that we are paying 17 cents a piece to make our box. So I was able to make this size box and it is seven and seven eighths by four and seven eighths by one and a quarter. And then I made this long box and it measures 10 and seven eighths by three and five eighths by one and a quarter. Now this would be a perfect tie box. Do we still do that? Do we still give ties as a gift? I don't know because I haven't done that in a long time, but I have given those nice funky socks that the young men like to wear. So this would also be a great sock box. And when you open it again, it's just a standard inside. You can go in and line that inside if you want, but I'm leaving mine just as they were. So I'm going to show you the process. The process for making these will be the same no matter how you orient the box or the size of the box that you begin with. It is the process that's important. So I am going to just go ahead and open this and take out one of my boxes. And you can see I have pieces that look just like this so they're consistent throughout. I'm just going to take one and like I said, whether I decide to score it this way or I decide to score it this way, the process is the same. So the first thing that we need to do and the most critical thing that we need to do is we need to figure out how wide the sides are. So when I put my ruler down, my sides are one and seven eighths. So that means that when we score to fold, 
we need to make sure that score is one and seven eighths. So now that we know our sides are one and seven eighths, and we know we need to have a centerfold that is one and seven eighths so that they are the same height all the way around, we need to find the center of our box. And lengthwise, our box is 14 and a quarter. So we're going to take that 14 and a quarter and divide it in half. So that means that we need to find our center, which is seven and one eighth. And so I am just going to make myself a little mark at seven and one eighth. So I just made a score mark right there. All right, so now that we have our mark at seven and an eighth, we need to take the side pieces, which are one and seven eighths, and we need to divide that so that we can create our center fold. Now the way that we're going to do that, we're going to take that one and seven eighths, and we're going to divide it into two parts. So one part is going to be one, and one part is going to be seven eighths because we need one of these sizes to be larger than the other so that we can fold over. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the seven and one eighth, and we're going to move over to eight and one eighth, and then we'll just score. Then on this end, we're going to start at the seven and one eighths, and we're going to count backwards until we reach seven eighths of an inch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's going to put us at the six and a quarter inch point. So we're just going to make another score. And y'all, that's how easy it is. So now we can just take this and we're going to fold it. And like I said, this is the process that you're going to use when you're deciding to make your box. No matter how you orient that box, you might want to make it lengthwise or you might have smaller side pieces. That is the process that you follow. So I am going to open this and I'm just going to go on the inside with my finger blade and free those tabs. And I'll do the same thing over here. So we're just going to open. And free those tabs. And now I'll use my finger blade. And just like we do on our other tabs, I'm going to angle in. And I'll do the same thing on this side. I will angle. And so now I'm going to bring in my glue. And the reason why I'm bringing in the glue is because these pieces on the edge, they open like that. And I want them to be stuck permanently because it helps the box to retain a much firmer shape. So all I'm doing, I place my glue and I'm going to put that down. And I'll go to all four sides and I'm just going to add my glue. Then I can stand it up and go on the inside and get that stuck. And then we'll do the same thing here. Add that glue and get it stuck. And you can see why I do that because if I didn't, then your sides will fold in like that. But by adding the glue, we've now squared those sides. So I am going to take my glue, place it on this one, and I'll use my bone folder to go in there and get that stuck. And so just like that, y'all, we have a box. I am going to go ahead and take my glue place my glue on these flaps. I'll take these flaps and I'm just going to stick them like we would on any other box. We'll go on that inside, get that nice and stuck, and we will go on this side and do the same thing. So putting that glue down, I can stand it up 
we can get it stuck. And now I can take this, put it over the top. And y'all look at this. We have a beautiful box that fits perfectly. This is exactly what we would want if we were making this box from scratch. Look at how tight and right that lid fits. So it's me. Thank you so much for this awesome idea because now we can take these boxes that have already been cut and scored for the most part for us and we can turn them into our own boxes. So like I said, I am not going to dress this box because I'm going to use this box at a later date and I'm not sure what papers or embellishments I want to put on it. But this is all we do to make this box. And so the process that I just demoed for you is the process that you would follow regardless of the size box that you're starting with. Now, some of the boxes that you might buy or some of the boxes that you might receive from your department store will not match the sizes that I have used in today's demo, but that doesn't matter because it's the process. So if you're starting with a box that has a two inch side, once you have found your center, you need to take that two inches and make one side larger than the other. So ordinarily you would take that two inches and divide it into two equal parts of one inch, but you need for one side to be slightly larger than the other. So I would take my two inches and I would make one, one and one eighth and the other side seven eighths of an inch. And that would give me a two inch part here, but I would have an overlap that is larger than the other side. So it's going to fold over exactly as I need it. And that's why I'm not doing a demo on these sizes because it's the process. The size doesn't even matter in this case. It is the process that we're going to use. So I hope that this awesome suggestion from It's Me will be very helpful to a lot of you because a lot of us sometimes will have those shirt boxes and those white boxes that we might get when we buy a gift at the store. And once the gift is unwrapped, we're still left with that box. So now you can take that box top or bottom and turn it into a box all by itself. So this is the first time that many of you might be seeing this process and therefore it might be a little bit confusing. Go back and watch the process over and over and over until you have the steps of the process down. Then take any box size that you want and create a box size that you need. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this as much as I have. And thank you so much to It's Me. This was an awesome suggestion. And if you have a suggestion for me that will appeal to the masses, please leave it in the comment section below. If it's one that I'm able to work in, I most certainly will. So if you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.